Okay. Welcome everyone. My name is Thomas Smith. I'm a member of the business development team at Net Capital. I'm just gonna give a few moments here to let everyone settle in. Give everyone a few more moments here. So we got a couple more people coming in, which is great. everyone one more minute we'll start at, at five after all righty looks like we got a pretty good crowd in um, for today's event, today is the third demo day of the week. On Tuesday, we had three companies from med tech in the biotech industry. Yesterday, we had four companies from advanced technology. And today, we have three companies in the consumer goods and technology space. We have Greenbox Robotics, HubSci, and Mosquito Steve. And with us today, representing each, we have Zach from Greenbox, Mike and Ryan, who will be presenting on behalf of HubSci, and Steve from Mosquito Steve. This webinar is recorded and will be available on the Net Capital YouTube channel. As always, each of these companies is actively raising capital on the Net Capital platform. So after hearing the demos from these three companies, please visit their offering pages. And for those who are on now, I put them in our chat. Um, if you could kindly wait till the end um, of the demo day to visit them. But if you would like to copy those links, uh, the first one is for Greenbox Robotics, the second one is for HubSci, and the third one is for Mosquito Steve. Just a few housekeeping items before we start. Uh, today is a demo day. So we will allow five minutes for each pitch event with a few minutes of Q&A. Please use the Q&A functionality. We wanna keep this as interactive as possible. I know it's easy on Zoom to use the chat, but just in order of sequence, if we could use the Q&A, that would be awesome. After each of these three pitches, each company will have a moment to give closing remarks, and then we will round out the pitches. With all of that being said, I would like to welcome to the floor, Mike and Ryan from HubSci. Oh, Ryan, you're, you're muted right now. Sorry about that. Uh, hello, uh, my name is Ryan Chu. I'm one of the lead developers here at Hubzai. And today I'm gonna to be presenting to you the Hubzai solution, Hubzai smart home solution. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna share my screen here. Uh, let me know if you can see my screen. Okay, it should be shared. Yep. Okay, perfect. So um, our product consists of a Hubzai uh, main controller unit that sits at the customer's property um, and connects to many different smart devices. Uh, and our uh, application, our app is available on both iOS and Android and connects to these uh, MCUs, the Hubzai MCU, very securely and allows the user to control all of their smart devices. So getting right into it, I'm gonna open up the Hubzai app here and I'm gonna click on this MCU that we have um, at the bottom of the screen, you can see our navigation icons. Uh, the first navigation icon on the bottom left is for the room map. In the center, we have the dashboard. And on the right, we have the history screen. So the room map screen that we're currently on allows the user to see all of their devices in, connected to this MCU in their property. 
and see the status of all of these devices. You can see that, uh, you know, we have four different rooms here, the back office, a booth, a dining room, and a garage. These can all be customized. You can drag and drop icons into different rooms and uh, see the basic uh, overview of all of your devices at a single glance. Moving on into the dashboard, uh, we have many key functionalities here. Uh, one being that you can see all of the devices, the names of the devices and the status of the devices. Uh, so you can see that the, the thermostat here in the middle is currently set at 71, temp 71 degrees. Uh, the garage door is open. You can see the snapshot of the cameras that we have and you can control the lights that we have here. Uh, you can also see the status of the sensors that we have connected to this MCU and all of that. Uh, one of the unique features that we have at the top, if you see this light switch icon, it allows you to control all of the lights uh, connected to this MCU at that property. You can uh, filter it by room and control the lights specifically in that room. And yeah, so clicking on uh, the lock device here, this allows you, uh, each, each device actually has a device detail screen that's unique to the type of device that they are. Um, here's the lock device detail screen. It allows you to control the lock. Um, I'm gonna unlock the lock now. Uh, you might be able to hear the lock in the background lock um, or unlock in this case. And after that status updates, after a few seconds, you'll receive a notification that your lock was uh, successfully locked. So <clears throat> moving on, another unique feature that we have is a split screen view. And this allows you to see you operate your device. There's that notification there. Um, this allows you to see you operating your device. In this case, you know, if a garage door is opening or closing, you can make sure that, you know, no animals slip under the garage door as it's closing, or you can ensure that, you know, the user closes the door after, uh, after unlocking it. So coming back, another unique feature that we have Here's the thermostat detail screen. Uh, you can actually schedule uh, specific routines into your into the operation of these smart devices. For example, you know, coming home uh, every day after work, if you like the temperature to be set at a certain degrees, like 75 degrees, you can do that here, set it to a certain mode. Coming back, um, <clears throat> you can we can move on to the history screen now. And in the history screen, you have your historical data for all of your smart devices, uh, like you know when leaks were detected or when a door was opened, all of that information can be found here. And I think the best part is that all of this information is stored off of the cloud in your HubZi MCU at your home. This makes it very secure and uh, very worry-free uh, since uh, you know, now every, a lot of the data is collected from your phones, from your devices and stored on the cloud. Uh, making UBSI a very secure and safe solution. Uh, coming back on the top left, I'm going to click on this hamburger menu. Um, and this is multi-hub. A user, a user can have multiple properties, uh, multiple HubZi MCUs, and control all of them through a single, very easy to use app. Uh, so thanks for uh, coming to see our demo today. And we look forward to getting in touch soon. Awesome. Thank you, Ryan. Um, we have a few follow-up questions for you from the audience. The first one being, uh, what is the competitive advantage for HubSci? Sorry. I can talk to you. Um, would I like oh, Mike, we're, we're in a tough time hearing you. Uh, nope. Is yours? Sorry about that. That's okay. Where's? Yeah. So just to just to repeat the question, um, what are the competitive advantages to using HubSci? Um, there are several. Um, one which is most important is the security and the ease of use. Um, I I believe we have surveyed over five hundred people and. Of all the people, I would say over 95% feel that our user interface is really fantastic. And our, if, you, if you saw the room map and how Ryan navigated through the demo, 
um, is, is significant. And uh, we have filed a patent on that for the design part. Um, as well, uh, the, the security, um, you know, your data privacy is one of the most important things in business. And, uh, you know, we're not like a Google or an Amazon put things in the cloud. All your data is stored at your home or at your property, and it's only accessible to you. So, so that's another very key significant thing. And we have special features that nobody has, um, such as multi-hub or single button. And uh, one, um, we've already scaled the company to install up to 1 million homes. That, that's great, Mike. Thank you. Um, a follow-up question to that is, how does HubSide differ from the existing smart home automation applications? Um, if you take a look at the way the smart home applications work there, there's a lot of delay and reliability issues. You're dealing with a lot of um, radio frequency technologies inside your home. Wi-Fi, Z-Wave, Zigbee, Bluetooth, and um, most homes don't work very well with Wi-Fi. Uh, it's an it's a unlicensed uh, um, spectrum and uh, for people to be able to effectively use it, it's not very reliable. So what we have done is we have created a highly reliable, oops, uh, we've, we've created a highly reliable solution where you pretty much have little latency and you have a lot of reliability. Awesome. Thank you, Mike. Um, and to parlay off that is which smart device does it support? Does HubSize support? Okay, we, we support 10 smart devices, generic devices right now. We support lights, locks, cameras, thermostat, garage door opener, smoke alarm, um, smoking gas detector, leak, water leak detector, motion sensor, smart plug. And I don't know if uh, the audience has seen our press release, but we're the first company to provide AI on the Apple Watch 6. And uh, there, the, the video is on uh, Net Capital. And uh, it was a pretty significant uh, breakthrough for us, but it really it speaks for what AI is going to bring to the homeowner. So today we support 10 smart generic devices. We do not manufacture any smart devices. We pick the best of breed. Thank you, Mike. And to follow up on that question, um, just understanding the market opportunity. Uh, this question pertains to what are what is the market opportunity for HubSci? It's huge. Um, so we have three, four different ways we are going to market. But right now, for example, there are, there are colleges and universities that are upgrading their dorms. Um, there are places that they have 650 you know, rooms. They have thousands of students and they're all going to upgrade. They have 50 million, $100 million set aside. Then you have businesses. Businesses want to be more uh, agile, nimble and secure. And, and uh, so we, we are going to business, small to medium business. We're going to builders. Uh, builders are a very big part of the business. And finally, the one that is huge is the multifamily home business. That's in the millions. I mean, there are companies like Graystar that have 700,000 condos alone. And so we are, we are actively pursuing some key strategic opportunities. Awesome. Thank you, Mike. Sure. Next up, I'd like to welcome Zach from Greenbox Robotics. Zach, why don't you come on in? Thanks for having me, Tom. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, learning about your company. Thank you so much for the demonstration, Ryan and Mike, answering those questions. Um, tell me, where should I begin? You, you, you start from the top. You, you let right. people know the good work that you're doing at Greenbox uh, Robotics. Amazing. So Greenbox at its core um, is a vending machine for modern wellness products and modern wellness can be defined a few different ways. You know, we've seen the wave of the cannabis industry take flight across the country, uh, more and more states coming online, which is really exciting for our company. Uh, the challenges of cannabis um, 
not being able to process the same way you would uh, traditional products. So Greenbox started as an express checkout for high foot traffic dispensaries, very much like you see in a grocery store or a convenience store where you can selfly check yourself out. Um, and the reason we pivoted into modern wellness products such as CBD is because the addressable market and the fact that it's federally legal to retail these type of products. So our company focuses on efficiency, focuses on education, focuses on wellness products and putting them in environments where people can access them. Um, so we, we built a prototype back in 2018 and realized that there was a lot of features that we would need in order to address this type of market. So traditional vending machines, you put in a dollar, you get your can of Coke or you get your bag of chips and the transaction is complete. But at Greenbox, we always wanna educate and inform the customer on the wide variety of products that can help with their everyday needs. So if you're having a tough time sleeping, shopping through our drift and dream category would be a great category to help you understand what products are gonna help you on a natural level sleep better through the night. We also have products that are great for uh, relief and recovery. So if you're dealing with inflammation or you're dealing with any pain or muscle joint pains, searching through these categories at our kiosks allow you to make an informed decision as to what you're buying. Uh, this market is continuing to grow and there's a lot of new products coming online. And at Greenbox, our goal is to help introduce these new items to the vast demographic of people that are looking for solutions outside of a doctor's office. So uh, for me, you know, this business is ever changing, but the most exciting part is all of the new partnerships that we've been able to secure with some of the biggest cannabis and CBD companies in this space. And what we're focused on right now is deploying our vending machines or our robots as we call them in high foot traffic locations such as airports, hotels, grocery stores, and even high rise apartment complexes. Because we believe in order to get these products to people, we need to be in the right high foot traffic environments. Uh, unfortunately, with COVID, that has altered our approach in terms of what environments would be most beneficial. But um, we're, we're very excited to be deploying with some new partners in California, where we're headquartered, as well as um, eight other states across the country. So it's a, it's a very exciting time for Greenbox. And Tom, I'm going to share my screen right now because I just want to share um, just an yep. image of the machine so everybody can see what it looks like. So we really wanted to push the envelope on the aesthetics of traditional vending. I wanted to create something that was captivating as you walk by, kind of ask the question, what is that? And what we're doing now is expanding our displays. So we're adding uh, video content to our touch screen so that as people walk by, they can see a commercial about the products. Um, but this is uh, one of our modern wellness CBD robots. And if you're not familiar with CBD, um, CBD is hemp derived product that helps with inflammation, stress, anxiety. Um, and it's really a miracle plant that um, has been wrongfully uh, assumed in terms of uh, legalities. With the passing of the farm bill, we've seen a great deal of companies come online with different solutions. And at Greenbox, our job is to help retail those items. So some of the value props of our business is we're curating the right brands and right products to help with your ailments, whether it be sleeping challenges, pain, inflammation, anxiety, stress. Uh, so we curate the brands and what we're looking at is their lab results, their um, certificates of authenticity. And then we're looking at things like the price points, the colorways of their packaging, uh, the messaging on social media about the company. And we add those to our curation, both on our website for direct to consumer and in our robots in the field. So it's, it's really a convenient way for you to have a two to three minute transaction time where you can learn about all the products and make an informed decision as to what's gonna make the most sense for your needs. We have a great deal of features on the robot. Um, a lot of these components were installed 
for the sake of the cannabis industry, being able to verify age and confirm, you know, who's shopping uh, at our kiosks. And you'll also see our user flow right here. So at any point, the customer has the ability to shop by category or desired effects. And we felt that desired effects was a better way to explain exactly what's in our robots. So again, you can shop by our most popular category, which would be sleep support or drift and dream. Relaxation would be products that are gonna help with stress and anxiety. And then beauty and pleasure would be more of your topicals, your facial serums. There's a wide variety of brands that are coming online and it's our job to help identify the ones that our customers should know about, as well as pain relief. So products that are gonna help with inflammation, uh, some really great brands that we're working with there, but the customer has the ability to click on any of the products while they've selected the category and learn about the onset times, the effects of this product, obviously a, a price point as well as a paragraph explaining what the item can do for you. And then Greenbox has a AI angle where we're upselling customers based off of what they're shopping for. So if they're searching for something to help them sleep, let's present another product that they may like to increase the cart and also inform the customer on some other items. We also have- um, 30 more seconds. Perfect. Uh, 30 more seconds here. Beautiful. So at any point while shopping at the robot, you have the ability to learn about how CBD works, the basics about CBD, the receptors in your body and how it can help you throughout your day. Um, but that, that will do it. Awesome. Thank you, Zach. Um, and I wanted to uh, wrap it up there because you got quite a bit of questions that came in um, about your product. So uh, the first one is, what was the impetus to founding Greenbox Robotics? So well, why did you find the found the company? Great, great question. So I was actually representing five cannabis dispensaries as their chief marketing officer here in Los Angeles. And I was in one of the stores, not as their chief marketing officer, I was there as a customer and I knew exactly what I wanted, yet I was waiting uh, for about 25 minutes. And I thought there's got to be a better way for customers like me that want to have that efficient in and out, get on with their day. So I thought, what does this look like? And I decided, you know, there's express checkouts, there's kiosks helping, you know, airplane tickets, um, going through security, even with clear You've seen the Best Buy machines in the airport. Why doesn't this exist in a dispensary? And that was really the inspiration to uh, carve my path and, and build the first machine. Awesome. Thank you, Zach. Next question is, uh, is there an app that you can use to shop ahead of time so you don't have to spend uh, that much time at the machine? If not, is there a plan for an app? Also a great question. So we are actually developing that right now where you'll be able to review all the items in the machine remotely from your cell phone um, while you're sitting in traffic. Don't use your cell phone to drive, but if you, you know, pull over and you want to order your items ahead of time, you will have that ability. That's actually why we're working with Net Capital to raise capital to build um, these other functionalities and, and convenient features to make your purchasing process even more efficient. Awesome, Zach, thank you. Um, next question is, um, can you name some of the major milestones over the past 24 months for Greenbox Robotics? Without a doubt. So, um, you know, launching the company was a huge milestone, building for over a year and a half um, our prototype and then having the confidence to place our first PO. Uh, I would say achieving over $300,000 in transactions was a huge milestone. Um, and the launching of Greenbox inside of the 7-Eleven in Boulder, Colorado was a huge feat for us, being the first modern wellness CBD robotic retailer in 7-Eleven, which provides a, a ton of scalability for our company. There's over 70,000 um, 7-Elevens globally. And to have proven our first footprint and the ability to grow in that environment is really exciting. And then another one would just be, you know, seeing my team think for themselves on what is best for the company. You, you delegate all this responsibility and you hope that they eventually think that way, you know, should I go this way? Should I go that way? What is best for Greenbox? And having that 
confidence in my team is a milestone every day. So a lot more milestones to come, but where we're, where we've been and where we're going is, is very exciting. Thank you, Zach. And last question is very similar to the one that uh, we asked Mike and Ryan Hubsai. Um, can you talk about the market opportunity for uh, green box robotics? Without a doubt. So we see vending machines all over the place. Um, our focus is really on modern wellness, which is plant-based medicine. So our addressable market um, is, is really the environments that we've tested and want to scale. So we've tested grocery, we've tested convenience stores. Um, we've actually discovered that hotels and high rise apartment complexes are, is where we'll thrive and is a repeatable model with certain specs. But the CBD industry right now is projected um, to reach 23 billion in sales by the year 2025. So we want to continue to merchandise the right way and not just carry any product. We want to highlight brands that we believe in and allow people to learn about them in the right environments. There's also the cannabis industry, which is growing at a rapid pace across the country. So we want to continue to land grab with Greenbox, both in high foot traffic arenas for our plant-based CBD wellness robots, but then also partner with more licensed dispensaries to retail cannabis products as a express checkout for their shops. Great, thank you, Zach. And last but certainly last, not least, we have Steve from Mosquito Steve. Steve, how are you? I'm great, how are you guys doing? <laughs> doing great, thank you. Why don't you tell us All about right. Mosquito Steve? Do what? <clears throat> tell you about Mosquito Steve. Okay, yeah, that's my so favorite thing to do in the whole wide world. <laughs> so, um, so I've been doing this for about 20 years, been, been doing research and development on mosquitoes. And, um, and what I've done is I've created a line of mosquito products that are all natural, safe on kids and pets, EPA exempt, which is critical. So we don't have to register with the EPA. That saves millions of dollars and years and years. And <clears throat> so we've got a full line of products for mosquitoes. And what's even better is we got products for flies. So if you've got a horse or cow or even a dining table outside, which is pretty popular these days, we can keep flies off of those for three days at a time with our products with just one treatment. And so, uh, so and it's safe because it's essential oils and natural surfactants. And so uh, we've got products that keep spiders down here in the south, if you've got a boat or a boat dock and you're out on a lake, I promise you, you hate spiders on your boat and boat dock. And so, because uh, they can actually ruin, uh, they can get inside the motor, they can ruin boat covers and all that. And so we've got a repellent that keeps spiders off of uh, boats and boat docks for 30 days. So we've got a full line of products that are all natural, safe on kids and pets, but here's the kicker. They're more effective than the chemicals. And that's really what we're doing. I don't want people to switch because our products are all natural. I want them to switch because our products work better. So my, the reason I started doing this is because I thought, you know what? I don't want to switch to a natural product if it doesn't work as well. I'm sorry, but you know, yeah, it doesn't matter. I, I love the world. I love the environment. I love trees and I love bees. And uh, so I love all those things, but you know what? If a product doesn't work very well, I don't want to use it. And so, um, so I decided that I was not really going to roll these products out 100% until I had the full line and that every case they beat natural pro or beat the chemicals. So, for instance, our spray on repellent, our topical repellent, we got two versions. One, both versions beat Deep Woods Off. Deep Woods Off falls apart at about uh, two hours. It falls under 90% and then goes down from there. So our basic repellent lasts more than three hours. We're above 90%. And our Supermax repellent is 98% for over four hours, which makes it pretty much the most effective mosquito repellent in the world. And here's what's great. They smell great. And it doesn't feel like you're putting Crisco on your skin. So uh, if you've ever used Deep Woods Off, it's pretty gross. And so uh, our products are not gross. And maybe that should be our slogan. We're not gross. So, uh, but, uh, but what's great is they, they really do work. And so the reason I know this, as you can see behind me, that's, uh, that's my leg and those are floodwater mosquitoes. 
<clears throat> so uh, for those up in the Northeast, um, y'all have a similar mosquito called salt marsh mosquito. I think you got them actually all along the East, east Coast, um, the salt marsh mosquito. If y'all have ever tried to get rid of them, there's almost nothing that works. So the, the floodwater mosquito is about the same. It's huge. In fact, they get so big here that sometimes when I'm out testing, I've mistaken them for grasshoppers. And so, uh, so they, they're huge. What's great about them is they don't carry disease, but they are gigantic. And when they put their proboscis in you, it hurts. It really hurts because it's like a hypodermic needle. So, um, so anyway, so that's what I test on. If it can, if we can get rid of floodwater mosquitoes, salt marsh mosquitoes, if we can get rid of those mosquitoes, then our products will work on all, all the other mosquitoes. And so far that's proven to be true. And so not only do we get rid of those, we get rid of all the, uh, no matter what the species of mosquito is, so whether it's um, uh, the the eighty species, which got you know became famous for Zika virus, we get rid of those. Um, but the Culex is what floodwater is, and the Culex mosquito is what carries West Nile virus. And so, so there's um, they all carry different. There's you know I don't know if most of y'all don't know, but uh, mosquitoes carry over thirty five hundred different pathogens. So uh, so I mean they are they're very very dangerous. Um, uh, there's, there's tons of species and there's always, they're always, they're, they adapt really quickly because every time they lay eggs, they lay, you know, 25 to 200 eggs. And then those mosquitoes are more adapted than the next generation. And so they adapt real quickly. So guess what? You know, the chemicals that most people are using today, they've been using for 50, 70, 80 years or more. And so mosquitoes became resistant to them a long time ago. <laughs> and so they're not very effective. In fact, when Zika was in Florida, Tom Frieden, the, the uh, head of the CDC at the time, came out and said, you know, uh, the, you know on the news, said our, uh, our pesticides aren't working like we had hoped they would. Well, guess what? They don't work that well. And, uh, and so, so that's what I do. So I stand outside. I count how many mosquitoes land on me. I test my products. I test everybody else's products. So not just the stuff on the skin. I've got stuff you spray in your yard and it keeps mosquitoes away for two weeks. I've got, you know, as I said, the stuff you spray on tables or on animals and that keeps flies off them. My super max repellent keeps ticks off dogs. Um, so all of these, all these products, I stand out there and I can't how many mosquitoes land on me. I've had more than 2000 mosquito bites in one night. Now, a lot of people would say, well, it doesn't seem very scientific. Here's the thing. The National Institute of Health says that human landing rate counts, which is what I do, is still the most effective way to test for repellency. And so the reason why mo most companies don't do it is because you can get really, really sick doing this. And I've been really, really sick doing this. And so um, I had all the, the symptoms of West Nile virus in 2008 and was down for about two months. Um, but I keep going because this is the way to tell if the products work. Our products are repellents. So we're bee and butterfly friendly. That's usually the first thing, like if I put an ad on Facebook or something, then somebody will get on there and go, dang you guys, y'all need to stop killing bees. Well, we don't kill bees. We don't kill bees. So uh, in fact, if you call the Texas Honey Bee Guild and say, I wanna raise bees, but gosh, we got mosquito problems here. What can I do? They'll say, call Mosquito Steve. So, so we, have all, we treat a lot of places that raise honeybees for their mosquitoes. So- um, Steve, we, just, we got to wrap up, uh, 20 more seconds. Oh no, you're kidding. Oh, my I God. know, we're having so much fun. We got to get the fuck rolling. That's, hey, 20 years, I can't really, it's hard to combine it. Well, you, you, here's you the thing. questions, so you, you'll get to keep going. But okay, okay, so here's the deal. Bottom line is this, 300 million people get just dengue fever and malaria, that doesn't count all the other pathogens. 300 million every single year. Um, it, the mosquito is still the most deadly animal in the world. We can get rid of them without killing all the beneficial insects and without killing people too. That's it. Steve, thank you very much. And oh. to, I guess, to parlay off that, um, and you talked about a little bit about the competitors, but can you give the competitive advantage for mosquitoes, Steve, versus a general mosquito repellent like off? Okay, so um, yes, yes. Well, first of all, yes, ours work. I mean, that's really, that's what I tell people. It's, it's really that simple. Now, there are people that, that swear by DEET, um, but, but if you know, first of all, read the label. This is the bottom line. You want to see a competitive advantage? Read their label. 
most of them are going to tell you right there in the label what the competitive advantage is because you're not supposed to put DEET on, on young children. You can put my product on infants. And so most of them are going to tell you that if you read the label on some of the products you put in the yard, it tells you right there they kill fish, they kill bees, you know. And I mean, I, honestly, if it kills those things, I'm thinking it can't be that good for me. Now, remember, the same guys that make those products are the same ones that made Roundup and Paraquat, which are both, you know, now in huge uh, class action lawsuits. They're the same people said those are safe are now telling the pesticides are safe. So, um, so the bottom line is this, our products work. That's the bottom line. That's why if you like their products, stay with them. I recommend you stay with whatever works for you. But what I'd like you to do is try our products and I bet you you'll, we'll win you over. Awesome, thank you, Steve. Next question is, can you talk about your background specifically and what was the reason you founded the company? <laughs> okay, so uh, so I actually I have a, a degree from SMU in broadcast film. Uh, so I got a little sidetrack. Um, the, uh, um, it's so I actually I I was a mess for a long time. In 1995, I sobered up. Um, I was a crackhead and an alcoholic, and uh, uh, and that that's what I that's all I ever wanted to do. And I sobered up in 1995, and and decided that, you know, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with my life at that point. I was 36 years old and, and, um, and I ended up opening up a remodeling, but what well, started as a service business, we did $675,000 the first year, just from putting flyers on doors. So I learned a lot about, you know, marketing and I actually was spent some time doing a lot of marketing for that. I opened up that turned into a remodeling business and I was working on a guy's house and even having mosquitoes. And what he had was he had a misting system. And some of y'all may know what misting systems are, but they're very expensive. They're about $3,500 or more to install. Then they're about $250 a month to keep running. And the problem with that is not only that, they're not as effective, not near as effective as they used to be, and they're spraying pyrethroids. So they're killing indiscriminately all the insects. And so, um, so I, I became the first guy in Dallas to do misting systems. Two months into it, I invented my first um, the, a portable mister. In fact, we've got a new sprayer that we're introducing this year, an entry level point of $350. So you want to spend $3,500 or you want to spend $350? And guess what? My $350 unit will beat the tar out of a $3,500 unit any day. And it uses our, our natural repellent. Did I answer the question? I don't even remember. No, That's, no, uh, Steve, you did. And you I'm actually, an old man. And so no, I forget things, you know. <laughs> Steve, you're doing great. And the way you're ending these is just going to the next one because the next question is um, what are you looking forward to most in 2021 with your product? Oh, I gotta tell you, the sprayer. we we are so excited. So I just we just got a prototype. We're running a little behind. We were we were having it manufactured in China. We've been working with them for about six months. They finally sent the prototype over and it was nothing. It was nothing like the videos, the pictures or any, the drawings, any of it. So we, we had to re, you know, reboot. We ended up um, put, pulling some engineers together. We, we uh, ended up sourcing stuff ourselves and we got this sprayer put together and it's actually a much better unit than what we started with. It's remote control. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's really something else. It's a little six gallon tank. So you only fill it up about once a month. So I'm most excited about that. Every single person that's seen it. So we've been Higginbotham's is one of our newest um, uh, retail chains and it's a small chain, about 41 stores, but every single manager that's seen it says, I want one. And of course I'll put one in my store, but I want one for my house. We've gone to lawn care guys. We're fixing to launch at a bunch of lawn care services because their, uh, their customer is actually can out there, uh, can deliver these machines and sell these machines. So it gives us a huge sales force. So uh, every single one of them, same thing. I want one and yes, I'll put those in my store. So that's what I'm most excited about now. Awesome. And last question, Steve, what was your, proudest milestone in 2020? Uh, gosh, there's, <laughs> we got through a lot of milestones at this point. And uh, so, so I've been doing this. So just so you know, we actually started, we, we've done about a million dollars in sales since 2013, which is when we started selling, but it was, 
but we reformed the company. I brought in, uh, there was a new guy that joined me. And so um, really just getting hold, getting into Higginbotham and getting open some doors. We've got a, a $50 million landscape company in Chicago uh, that we're going to be working with this year. That, that alone could be a $25,000 a month client. And so we've got a lot of, a lot of new doors open. Here's the, the biggest milestone is that I've got help now. It's been just me for a long time and, and, it, and it's real hard to do by myself. And so I've got help and he's awesome. He's a Marine and a former cop and he's built businesses before. So, so, uh, so that is what I, I feel fortunate for. It. Let's say that. That's great, Steve. 2020 is going to be a bright year for you, for HubSide, for Greenbox Robotics, I think for everyone uh, on this demo day today. And we are coming to the program now where we are with our closing remarks. So we're going to start with you, Steve, and then go to Zach from Box Robotics. And last but certainly not least, we're going to close out with Mike and Ryan from HubSize. So uh, if we can keep it to a minute, gentlemen, Steve, we'll start with you. Closing remarks on what you would like the audience to know about Mosquito Steve. Well, the main thing I'd like you to know is that we uh, we actually had tremendous sales in the first decade of existence. And that's when I kind of pulled back and said, you know what, our products aren't quite ready. Um, and and so the last couple of years, our sales have been down this year. I, I think we're I really think we're going to hit a million dollars in sales this year. So uh, so that's that's the most important thing. So, and we've got help. We've got great people. Everybody loves our products. If you haven't tried them, you got to try them. And I think you'll love them. And so that's it. Just just give us a shot. Check out my website. We've got a brand new website, too. So check that out. So that's it. Awesome, Steve, thank you so much, Steve. Thank you. Zach, Green Box Robotics. Uh, well, thank you so much for having me on this demo day. Uh, for all the viewers and listeners of this, uh, Greenbox is going to continue to deploy our robots in land grab and high foot traffic locations. And supporting us will help bring automation to this growing industry. And we, we believe these wellness products can help a lot of people. And that's one of the main reasons I got into this business is to allow people to have their own purchasing experience and learn about products directly from the manufacturers. We're going to continue to innovate. We're going to continue to push the envelope on our technology. And with your support, we'll be able to build more machines and continue our deployment schedule. So thank you so much for tuning in. If you'd like to check out our website, it's greenboxrobotics.com. And then, of course, all the information on the Net Capital Portal will help you understand our current fundraise and how you can help us grow the business. Awesome, Zach. Thank you. And last but certainly not least, least Ryan and Mike from HubSci. Uh, we want to thank everyone for joining us today. Um, we're very excited about the, the kind of work we're doing. Uh, we're, we really believe that we're bringing a peace of mind to the homeowner, to the business owner, about the way they go about automation. And uh, this is a $120 billion market. Uh, we are definitely, definitely going to be a major player here. We're growing fast and uh, all the investors uh, at uh, Net Capital, um, just uh, it's great to have you join us. I think that it would be a great, great opportunity for everybody to make money. Thank you. Ryan, Mike, thank you so much. Gentlemen, Thank you so much for taking the time to join us tonight on this demo day. Um, just for everyone who's view, uh, listening now, as those who will be listening in the future, this demo day has been recorded and will be uploaded to the Net Capital YouTube account. And as always, through HubSci, Mosquito Steve, and Greenbox Robotics, you can go on right now to netcapital.com and invest in each one of these companies. Um, Gentlemen, we've enjoyed, enjoyed working with each of you um, during our time at Net Capital. I guess the most exciting thing for us is we're not done yet. Um, you guys are live on our platform and we still get to work with you. So, so thank you for joining Net Capital. I want to sincerely thank you guys for taking the time tonight to explain your businesses for those who are able to attend live, as well as those who will be listening in the future. And thank you for those who attended. Hope everyone has a great day. Thank you. And thank you, Net Capital. Thank you, Ryan.